If a person is diabetic or pre-diabetic, is there a simple way to express what the good sugars and bad sugars are? The, the, the definition of diabetes and pre-diabetes um, are, uh, they've been created to um, first to sell insulin and uh, then to, um, to, to sell the non-insulin uh, sugar reg regulating drugs and so on. And uh, they keep multiplying the definitions of, of how many types of, of mm -hmm. diabetes there are. There's type 1 and type 2 and, and uh, syndrome X and gestational diabetes. <clears throat> Uh, we'll probably have half a dozen types of diabetes <laughs> if the, the government and the medical business uh, get their way on. Continue. <laughs> okay. Okay, but basically, um, the good types of sugars that are going to uh, be more slow release are the fruit sugars and the honey. Um, and if yeah. they're eaten in combination with uh, fat and a protein, then they're going to be even more slowly released, and they won't require the pancreas to pump out a ton load of insulin. Yeah, fruits and cheese are are very safe things for diabetics. And they'll notice, um, like we've seen with our diabetic clients, that their sugar numbers don't go up with fruits and cheese and milk and honey. Uh, yeah, that uh, I wrote a newsletter about uh, a couple French and an English doctor 140 or 150 years ago who noticed exactly that same thing, but it didn't catch on with the medical <laughs> business. I know diabetics are told they need to eat complex carbohydrates, but when you actually look at the glycemic index of complex carbohydrates, they're much higher than what's in fruit and honey and white sugar, believe it or not. Mm. And since the government has been making these recommendations and people have been eating more of the starches mm -hmm. and uh, polyunsaturated fats, uh, the incidence of so-called diabetes has increased right. tremendously. Mm -hmm. So for that diabetic caller or if you're calling about someone else, fruits, honey, cheese, and, and dairy products and mm -hmm. avoiding starchy carbohydrates, which I should qualify for our listeners are Things like bread, pasta, cereals, grains, rice, all those are termed starchy carbohydrates. Okay. They not only have a high glycemic index, which means they shoot your sugar level up quickly, but they also have the potential to feed bacteria in your lower intestine, which causes all sorts of other problems, as maybe Dr. Pete will have time to explain. But I think we have another we have caller. Another caller yeah. um, in, the long, in the long range, it's very important to avoid the polyunsaturated fats uh, for avoiding diabetes.